welcome back this is Jody from Northern Country Creations and sorry the other video cut off but we'll get it finished um, okay so I'm back to my favorite book on my haul here so just wanted to go through some of these this one's 1980 and it's got the bright blue colors and large lettering look at those colors oh I just absolutely love those rose-colored pictures. Just gorgeous. These will be fun to put in uh, little golden books. and So I really, really like this. And I might make this into a junk journal as well. And then I've got The Night Before Christmas. And this is a pretty big size book. I'm not sure how old this one is. Take a look here. I love the thick paper and the images. 1949. Oh, wow. Actually, this is in really great shape. As, almost as though, although it's got the ISBN number on it. I'm not sure how old those go back, though. But um, Wow. This is really, really great condition. It's like it's never even been looked at. But look at the huge images and just brings you back to younger years. I just love, love the Christmas journals. So I'll be start making those pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's look here. So there is, as I say, otherwise this is, so it's copyright 1949 here. But then on the back, it says, no part of this book may be used or reproduced whatsoever in the written permission. 1997 Barnes and Noble books. So, yeah, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty good condition for that age if that's what it was. Okay, and then I've got Ultimate Christmas. This has got a velvet um spine on it ultimate christmas this will make a great junk journal the book itself so um i liked this book as well and this had just lots of christmas related pictures nice images in it um recipes yeah Party food, just lots of nice images in here. Nice Christmas images. So I like this. This wasn't bad. I kind of more picked it for the cover in the book, but let's see. Okay, then we've got the original Sunday dinner meals from Family Kitchens. And let's see. Kansas City, Missouri, 1979. Let's take a look at this one. It's got cute little images in it. I guess I just liked how this was laid out. Um, multiple recipes on one page. So this would be great. Um, yeah, just a really nice book. So it was just vintage recipes. Okay, and then I've got Where's Santa's Kitten, and this is not old, old, but it's 1997. I just thought it was a cute little book, and it's the, the paper is, is um, almost like a construction paper, but the images are really cute. So I thought that was cute. Big Albert moves on. Let's see how old this one is. 1971. Walt Disney. Just love the graphics in this one. Really cute. And I like the size because um, I can take this apart and then use this in even a like a little golden book junk journal. And it will fit in there as an inside page you know, inside it without even cutting this down. So, um, I like these sizes too. So 
So we got the Runaway Kangaroo. This is a Rand McNally Jr. Elf book. And this is pretty old. The pages are really colored. Oh, and I just love this. Um, well, I don't know my Roman numerals. <laughs> I guess it's all in Roman numeral. But oh my gosh, look at this. I just... This, I don't know, I just might keep as a little keepsake for my bookshelf because it's in such great shape for its age. And, you know, it's already um, got patina on it. And uh, it's just great. It's 19 cents. So, yeah, I like that one. And then I've got birds. Golden Nature. Uh, let's see if there is a date in here. Copyright, uh, 1949, 1956. So it looks like it's 1956. And I love these images. Um, this book I will probably take apart. And, um, I mean, just just even the whole page. Um, oh, then it's hard to decide which bird to pick. <laughs> but um, I will cut this... Um, binding string out and I'll be able to take the whole page out and I can put them in little golden books or other books as a smaller page. Um, I will also maybe even cut this and use the whole page as a journaling card and attach it to you know cardstock or file folder. Um, but these images are really cool so oh, there's my favorite bird a loon since that's my logo. <laughs> And um, so yeah, I really like this, the vintage book. So I like that one. And this, I just love the color. I wanna make this into a junk journal itself. Mrs. Wigs of the Cabbage Patch. Um, the book is in really cool shape and it's got this really, it's a salmon color. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it's um, really cool color and it's already really aged, yellowed. Uh, let's see, what is this, 1962. So, love this book. It's got the sagey green colors in it for the illustrations. Um, yeah, even as I'm flipping through it, I can smell the age, you know, like being stored away. Um, so, I really, oh, that's cute. Look at that jacket. So, yep, I really like this one. So many ideas. Okay, then I picked up a um, little golden book, Heidi. This one, um, let's see if I can find the copyright, 1954, and it's in really good shape. Um, it's got the original, you know, offers in the back, so that's really neat. Um, I just like the illustrations and the colors of this too, the the faces um, of the illustration of the little girl and the people are really cool. Um, I don't see any ripped pages, just you know, bent over ones. So this is a really good condition. So that'll be fun to do. Um, these were just some vintage um, booklets. And like I said, in this haul, I paid out of both videos, uh, like it was less than 20 bucks at this thrift store. Um, it was like fill a bag for a dollar of books and, and like that. So so this is, actually the cover is gone. So I don't know the work basket. The work basket. So this must be maybe um, a sewing uh, journal. But look at the old pictures and the <laughs> old advertisements. Um, look at the bright green on there. Um, so I picked this up. Oh, these are really cool. I didn't see what the age was on that. Oh, January 1966. Oh, year of my birthday. So, yep. Tell me how old I am. <laughs> uh, let's see. This one. This one's got a little bit of color pages in it. Um, glossy pages. This is the work basket as well, 1983. So these were some really cool, oh look at that color picture that was there. Oops, 
There we go. Bran flakes. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like that book too. I like the vintage. Okay, so here's work basket. Um, 1968 December so this is what the front covers look like um, oh look at that green pullover so these are just really fun um, look at that ye bright yellow so those were cool oh look at the sewing machine my favorite recipes for country kitchen kitchens um, love this vintage picture on the front uh, looks like uh, it's one whole picture there. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's see. This is 1945 General Foods. Um, we're getting older. So this is a um, little cooking booklet. So really neat recipes, desserts. It's funny because sometimes I, um, oh, look at that. Um, I look. I just love looking and reading through uh, recipe books, and it's fun to read um, through them and find out, you know, some good old-fashioned recipes. So that's a cool one. Odd pets. Hmm. Okay. Some of these I don't remember getting, but um, let's see here. What year is this? Nineteen. 51, oh no, text copyright 1951, published 1960 by Scholastic Books, so 1960, and it's already yellow, yellow, you know, aged, and you can, you can tell how yellow it is by, look at the white on a new book page, so it's pretty, um, pretty aged there yellowed so it was just kind of cool to put in my nature books um yeah i like doing the up north and cabin books so this will be cool for that okay grab some more here i think i've got enough to keep me going for a while so, Patterns of Nature, and this is an ex-library book or school book. Oh, Library from the University of Northern Iowa, Cedar Falls, 1967. So, oh, yep, wildlife pictures. So, look at those. These will make nice journaling cards. Oh, look at all those. Nice old pictures. I love the illustrations and the small, small little narrations of it. So, love this. So, yep. This will be great for my nature books. So that was Patterns of Nature. That's actually a nice cover, too. Potato Garden. Okay, why did I get this one? Oh, I do remember. These pages are all... In craft paper. Um, I love this. Not too many books do I see that have this craft paper as the page. And I mean, it's pretty thick. Um, so I was really drawn to that. These are all recipes. Um, potato bread. What to do with potatoes. Um, oh, here's also, you know, just cooking. Um, you know, you know, facts, you know, fun facts and things like that. Um, a lot of the pictures are really cool. Oh, one potato too. <laughs> um, so this was a really unique book. I really like this one. So this will be very fun to put in any type of a journal. Look at those pigs. So I love that. That paper was cool. Um, and we'll see what, what date was that. Uh, no, it might not be old. 1993. So, yeah. And then I picked up um, some of these old, uh, kind of like church um, 
recipe books and I like it because of the color of the pages and the, the font is typed so you know it's typewritten and I just love that so there's white and pink um, yellow and there's some baby blue uh, what's back here green there's some orange and some peach colors, so love that for my recipe book that I'm going to do. I want to do a recipe book for myself and then maybe make some to sell. Um, again, here's another one. This is Leech Lake up by where our cabin is. Um, so yeah, again, different colored papers. Just love it. Love the typing. Love that, that font. Favorite recipes of the Leech Lake area. Walker, Minnesota. Um, I don't know if there's a date probably on these or not. I don't know. There is. Yeah, I didn't see. Oh, 1971. There was even a little order form. Yeah, it looks like 1971. And there's another work basket little booklet we'll have the colors in there these papers are really thin so I'll probably oh look at that oh that's gorgeous so yeah um, some of these pages I might um, you know they're so thin I might have to glue them on um, cardstock because it's they're really thin this is 1954 the sport of cooking. Okay, so I got these for my um, my cabin journals or North Northern journals, 1978. So this is all different types of recipes for your wildlife. Um, yeah, some breads, soups, wild rice mallard venison stew smoked salmon so these would be all really nice for um those journals then i got black beauty she's all broke up but i think it was 39 cents oh yeah this is another one that's really yellowed a uh, nice patina on it aged 19 so it looks like 552 1952 but it was 1973 printing so, um, again, this is another one that has, like, that construction paper um, feel to it in big letters. But what I like about these is the bright, bright, saturated colors. Um, they're just so neat. So, I'm going to be making some horse-themed um, journals, so I might make this into a journal, too. A junk journal. My father can fix anything. Um, I'm thinking about making this for one of my kids, so hopefully one of them aren't watching. <laughs> uh, it's missing this, the front, one of the front cover pages, but, um, it's 1965. Um, but I really like this, um, story and the storyline and, yeah. So this will be really cool to make into a junk journal. I love the colors and look at the old-fashioned vehicles. This could be a great Father's Day um, gift, um, you know, after it's made into a journal for a father or something. So this will be really cool. But I'll be probably making this um, to use for my own personal. Okay. We're getting there. I can't believe I got all this for 20 bucks. Um, so the bread basket, here's another pretty old um, pamphlet type one, 1941 standard brand. So this one again was, look at the bright pink colors and the blue in the, the illustrations. Look at that. I love the layout of this, how this is a recipe and a picture. So this will be really cool. Adadama bread. Never heard of it. <laughs> so, yeah. Look at the polka dots in the back. The old fashioned cards, recipe card thing, pictures of them. Oh, so look at the colors. 
So these are really, really cool. Something got onto this page, but um, that shows character, right? So love that. Uh, oh, was that the front of it? Oh, no, no, this is the front of the next one. Okay, so how to get the most out of your Sunbeam Mix Master. So this is really cool. Let's see, 1950. So this again was a nice um, old fashioned recipes, some bright color pictures in there. And this is kind of a thicker card, not a card stock, but a heavier magazine paper. Look at that. <laughs> Lots of old fashioned recipes. So I love that color just like that. Okay, a happy day book. Um, I'm glad I'm your grandma. This will make a really cool junk journal for kids. Um, so yeah, this one's all about grandma. Pages were really nice. I don't know if this is old or not. 1991. So this was a really good book. I like the theme of it. I'm glad I'm your grandma. So that'll make a nice junk journal. Walt Disney's Vanishing Prairie. This, I like the cover. And this is kind of a, um, I don't know what you call it. Uh, it's kind of like a scotch type binding there. And then, um, again, old, uh, old pictures and all about wildlife. So I got this for my up north cabin journals, nature journals. So that was a really good book. That one. My recipe book. This one was really cool. Um, nothing on it, but it just says my recipe book. I love the cover just the way it is. Um, and it's got a binder in it. And made in the USA. It's got little tiny little tabs on it. A little. And there, this has got um, lined paper in it already <clears throat> to write your recipes in. <clears throat> and then it's got an envelope. It's like somebody already thought of a junk journal for this, or, you know. <laughs> so this will be fun to, um, oh, here's some handwritten recipes in here. Let's see one. And there's a cornbread recipe. So somebody was using this. Yeah, look at that. So the old pages with the coloring, you know, all the way around the edges there. There's some more writing in the envelopes. This will be kind of, this will be really fun to dial up into a junk journal, recipe junk journal. So, yeah, this will be fun. I like this. I like it because the cover is already plain and I can add to it. So that'll be fun to do. Let's see. And here's a couple more. I picked up, um, this one's really yellowed, so it looks like it probably sat on a shelf and got colored. Um, so this one is 1976. One of the blue kitchens. Um, so yeah, this is the typical binder Betty Crocker journal, so it's all in really good shape. So this will be fun to work with. Oh, that looks so good. So, yep, I picked up uh, both of them. These were part of the uh, dollar, you know, the dollar bag. And these are just some, just some wrapping paper. And then here's another Betty Crocker book. This one, the coloring on it is better. Um, but this one's got... Somebody, you know, cut out recipes and put in there. And this was in 1976 as well. Okay, and then what else did I get? 
So I got some stationary paper with leaves on it. That'll be really nice for my um, nature journals. And I don't know, it was probably a quarter or something for that. And then blue dress and boys bib. They were four fifty at Kinko's, and I think I got these for twenty five cents or fifty cents. So those were really cute. And then I got me a. Um, these are really nice to stack up all of your, um, you know, like your three tiered. I have lots of three tiered shelves around my work area, and so it's nice to you know be able to spin them around and and get to everything. So those always come in handy. And so that is it for the rest of that haul. So uh, thank you for uh, watching and um, seeing you again.